Welcome back. Time for the Great American Panel. She is an attorney and Fox News contributor. Tamar Holder is here. She's a radio talk show host. Mary Walter joins us. And he is a Republican congressman from Charleston, South Carolina. Tim Scott is here. Welcome, all Thank of you. you. Thank you. Um, sort of an amazing exchange uh, the other day between the White House Chief of Staff, Jack Lew, and Kenny Crowley over at CNN. She asked a pretty basic question. What's in these documents at the core of the debate over Fast and Furious? Of course, Daryl Issa and the Oversight Committee has said to the White House Justice Department, tell us what you knew about this scandal. And they have said, we're not going to tell you. We're not going to release these documents. And then, of course, he was held in contempt as a result. Anyway, this is the answer the White House Chief of Staff gave when asked about those documents. Were there things in these documents that involved uh, consultation with the president? Is that why you invoked executive privilege? You know, I, Kenny, I'm not going to speak to to the specific documents. The every, you know, the, there was an unprecedented amount of cooperation in providing insight into all the decisions made up to the point of of the correction uh, you know that the Congress was given okay. about the policy itself and about the testimony. What they're looking for now are internal kinds of documents that they know are not appropriate. That they know are not appropriate. Now, Ms. Holder, I ask you, this is not a phony scandal. It's not one of these made-up Washington nonsense scandals. This is, this is an actual scandal at the center of which are dead people, okay? What kind of documents wouldn't be appropriate for an oversight committee to see? Okay, well, first of all, I am not Bob Beckel. I'm supposed to be filling in for him, and I just got this last-minute memo. Well, let, let, let me just say, and no so, one will hold your non-Bob Beckelness against so you. So I just want to make it clear that the people who are looking forward to seeing him know that I'm not him because you Th know, there I'm has been in. some confusion about right. that. And I'm and glad you cleared that up. Right, and the second thing is, is that Don Ima sent me out on a mission to look for a date tonight, and, and I'm now here clear. to be with right. you. You're not going to find one in this studio. Right. Well, right. But you obvious. might, were you to answer the question I posed, well, which is, <laughs> why can't the American public know what the president knew and when about Fast and Furious, which again resulted in the deaths of untold Mexicans and at least one federal agent? Well, okay. The first thing is that ISA, a.k.a. mall cop, wants to know internal communications after the fact, after this was already put to end. That's what he wants. He doesn't care about, or he's already been provided the information about this, How do this we know whole that? internal. How do we know that? Well, because he's, he has Because the White it. House that won't release these documents and is invoking executive privilege in order to keep them cloaked from public view is assuring us the it's released all the relevant documents? The first time that our president has invoked the in executive privilege, right. which Bush did six times, but now all of a sudden so it's Bush an electric... did this. No, 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 but I'm not saying that it's, it's the wrong thing. I'm just saying that right. we should respect the executive privilege. Right. I think, and I, I think Mary, she, she makes a really good point that the president says, hey, I just don't feel like telling you what I've done wrong, we should just be satisfied with that. Don't you agree? Well, you know what's worked really, really well for this White House up until now? Deny, deflect, and blame somebody else. Well, Bush did it, so I can do it. Well, no, not really. It doesn't work for one, doesn't necessarily mean it's the same for everybody across the board. We're talking about totally different cases. So the executive privilege, I don't buy here. But what is so frustrating for me is that people don't know about this because, again, deny and deflect has worked so well for this administration that How I really so? think that they think that they can just say that oh no we, you don't need to know anything more about it. let's move on what no, is no, no, he didn't for say that is, let's he move did not on. Let's say that about no I'm not going to do it he just right. he provided he 79 that. congressman as, as someone who just voted what what last want. week There's to hold the attorney general in contempt G Absolutely. give us give us your take now here's here's what the american people need to know and most importantly here's what kent and josephine terry needs to know who are the parents of brian terry the exactly. yes. federal officer what happened and from February of 2011 until December of 2011, the Justice Department provided false information to members of Congress. Yes. And without any clarification. Is that, is that just your opinion or have we actually established, established that? We've established, established that. that. Okay. And over that time period, 10 months, there was 100,000 pages of information that was transacted. Right. Only 7,000 has been provided to Chairman ISA. We're asking for the rest of the information so that we can have clarity and bring peace and bring peace of mind to a family that's mourning the loss of their son and at the exact same time protect the process that really strengthens who we are as a people, the rule of law. This president 
has consistently found himself on the wrong side of the concept of rule of law. No, and you, this have is another opportunity so. you have wait, used wait, wait, Brian Terry. You have used Brian Terry for that. political wait, 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 tactics. Wait, 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 because, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 this is absolutely, absolutely deplorable not. because What's deplorable here is where. What's deplorable is a president no, no. who simply will not You are using the name of one person, one fallen person. It happens to be the border One fallen person who, I'm sorry that we lost, right. But we have a war because on the border. We have a war on the border, and you guys aren't doing anything to solve the war. That were provided by no. the You're not doing anything to solve the war on the border. That's what the problem is. You're using Brian Terry the, the, the to, to deflect. Simply, the drug cartels were How, really, not going to offer. Hey, 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 hey,
But they tracked them but, with yeah. Bush. No, and but Obama no one is denying Trump. that. Wait, but, but hold on. Is that really the point? The point is the sitting president oversaw this. Why shouldn't we know more about it? Why shouldn't we know everything about how this happened so it won't happen again? Because the same thing with Abu Ghraib. There were photos that, that the administration believed would affect the Americans overseas, that would affect our soldiers. And we do not want to put our soldiers or our Americans or our people on the border at harm's way with the cartel or whomever is on the border. There are certain things that, that are secret to our government that are in the best interest of the American people. But Congressman, do you believe that this administration is keeping these documents, thousands of pages of documents, secret for our own good and for national security reasons? Absolutely not. There's no doubt. Do you think that's kind of an insane suggestion? I would say it borders on insanity. Here's what I would say, though, that if you think about the fact that the federal government provided guns to the drug cartels in Mexico, killed Mexicans, killed a Border Patrol agent. He asserts an executive privilege, basically protecting Eric Holder, and says, I have no knowledge of what's going on, basically is what we hear out in the public forum. The challenge is, if why would you assert executive privilege for something that you have no knowledge about? I don't understand. That's almost like Doesn't a Zen sense. cone. That's like the sound of one hand clapping. That may be the unanswerable question. Doesn't make sense. Ma Mary, I want to get... Uh, I want to get <laughs> what get to the Supreme Court decision, also the big yeah. news from, from last week. What you saw in the aftermath of that was an immediate drop in public confidence in the Supreme Court. Sure. Warranted. Well, I, I, you know, to be fair, I think that if they had ruled the other way, you would also see a drop in confidence in the Supreme Court, but by a whole different group of people. I, I think truly believe that no matter which way they ruled on that, there was one, one group or the other was going to be severely disappointed with the Supreme Court because it wasn't going to go somebody's way. So somebody wasn't going to, to be, um, be happy. But what I would like to say is I do think that um, the right handled it well. They didn't denigrate the Supreme Court and say, oh, it's an activist court. They didn't launch this media offensive to discredit the court. And I think had the decision gone the other way, I think we would have seen that media blitz well, the, the, discrediting I mean, that blitz the Supreme Court. That blitz already begun preemptively. What did, you, did you read the, the CBS piece that said that Chief Justice Roberts pays very close attention to news coverage? And the implication, of course, was that he might have been influenced by the attacks on the court by the left and that those might have influenced his decision. Right. Well, I think that I wouldn't want to believe that as an attorney, how juries are sequestered because they're not supposed to pay attention to media and, and to, you know, their families and opinions of people outside of the courtroom. So I want to believe that the top people in our court, in our judicial system, aren't but isn't that the whole influence. point of attacking John Roberts in the first place? So he would change his mind when but he I saw the president's believe, staff attack her. John Roberts. Right. It worked, apparently. Well, I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe everything in the liberal media, the conservative media, whatever. At the end of the day, Tucker, I think that, the, that this is a very tragic time for America. We just learned today that manufacturing jobs are being outsourced overseas. We're hearing about these terrible opinions, all these things that are going down in America, and it's tragic. Americans yep. need to come together, come to the middle, and figure out a way to make ourselves the best in the world. A bipartisan sentiment. Thank you all very Thank much. You. We are out of time. Coming up, two of our nation's most powerful political groups have teamed up, the Tea Party and Evangelicals. Find out how the two could affect the election in a big way. And then country legend Lee Greenwood joins Sean just in time for the 4th of July. That's coming up. Stay tuned.